Hi there, I'm Johnny from Man and Machine and I'm very quickly going to show you how you can go from a point cloud, such as this one, into Civil 3D, change it into a surface and then quickly come up with some, um, some contour definitions. So just to kind of go over what I might be doing here and recap, um, if I was doing this properly, I would probably clean this up, get rid of some points that I don't need. So any of this kind of foliage, just make sure that I have the, maybe just the contours or just the groundworks that I actually need. So I might even go to the extent of deleting around this fence. Um, I'm going to bring it in as it is and show you what it can do without any cleaning up whatsoever. So once I've brought my point cloud into recap, saved it, I'll be able to then bring that into uh, Civil 3D. So I've opened up here a blank Civil 3D project. I'm just going to attach that point cloud. So very easy, just choose where it is. I'm gonna manually place it. So there we go, it's in space. So very easy to create a surface inside of Civil 3D. Um, once we have the point cloud in here, we have the option under surfaces to create a surface from the point cloud. So what you can do is select that button, choose the point cloud that you want to create a surface on and then give it a name. So this can be called existing. Um, you can write a little description about it if you want. Give it a style. Um, I'll create the styles in a second just to, because this is, this is very lightly graded. So two to 10 meters might not be enough. I'll do one to five so we can see it. Um, something to point out is we are definitely going to want to reduce the amount of points this is using to create the surface. So at the moment, um, I believe that's one billion, maybe? Anyway, it's a hell of a lot. It's too many. Um, so what you can do is you can just change that down uh, on the distance between. So instead of having 0 0.001 0 0 um, between our points, I'm going to change that to 0 0.75. And what that will do is it will reduce down our points. So 39,563. It's still quite a few, uh, but more manageable. Definitely, um, if I'd have left it as it was before, I'd be leaving this running for a good um, couple of hours, probably. And then when the surface is done, it would be pretty much useless. Uh, so now that I've chosen the amount of points that I want to bring in, I'm going to choose a filter method. So um, planar, planar average will work out very much kind of uh, a linear average based on all of these random points that I have that poke up above the ground. The other cringing uh, interpolation basically just creates more of a, a softer surface and then no filter at all will literally take the points I've got and then put that into the surface. So I'll end up with loads of pointy bits wherever I've got random objects such as trees and things like that. So I'm going to choose the cringing interpolation. It's probably going to be the best shout for, for what I'm trying to do here. Um, so now I've got all of this set up, I can create the surface. So this is going to go away and in the background work out what it can do with the surface. So this is 39,000 points that it's trying to work out the surface from here. It's quite a big area that it's doing, um, but it shouldn't take too long. It should actually finish that within the time. I don't need to turn off the video and turn it back on. So there we go. We have the surface now in the background. So what I'm going to quickly do is just hide my point cloud so we can see my surface. So I'll just hide oh, the selected. So because this surface um, was very lightly graded, it's quite, the contours I can see here um, don't tell me a lot about the surface. So I could use the object viewer just to quickly have a look at what's happening here. So maybe I'll change that to a yep, shade, it'll be fine. So I can just quickly have a look around and see how well it's done. So I've got a few nobbles there. I've got a few um, things that, I probably could have sorted out had I just spent the time in recap deleting out some of the points that came up above the ground. But my major, my major um, hills and volumes that I might want to calculate are, are there, so I can see there that I've got those. Um, so all I need to do is just change the style, perhaps, so that it's um, it shows me the surfaces a little bit better than it's doing at the moment. So. What I'll really quickly do is just create a copy of this style um, and then set the contour regions to 0.1, I think is probably going to be the best. And that should set that to 0.5. Uh, then hit apply, OK, apply, and there we go. We've got much better sort of idea of where our, our, um, our crests and where our troughs are. So what I'll quickly do is create a border around what I want to keep. So I'm interested in this park area. 
probably again spending a bit more time on this if I was doing um, more detailed design just make sure that I've got that closed polyline there so once I've got a closed polyline what I can do is I can use that as the border for this surface um, so if I just found a boundary add uh, what you call it boundary line boundary line there we go okay I'll choose that polyline that just brings out exactly what I want so yeah obviously I could be a bit more specific about what I was uh, what I actually want to see I could use the point cloud to sort of help me determine exactly where I want my boundary line to be but for, for this demo this is kind of enough um, and now what I could do um, now that I have this I can use things like labels just to mark up where my contours are going to be um, obviously I have the point cloud in the background if I want to add any kind of like line detail to this so I choose contour multiple and just head up over this so my scale is a little bit too high maybe we go for one to a hundred so there we go we have all of our contours labeled very quickly there we can see that this reflects very closely what we saw in the point cloud so we had high notes uh, we've got this concrete section here we've got lots of flat parts so that's very quickly how you create a surface in Civil 3D from a point cloud. It's very easy, it's very quick. Uh, once you have that surface, you can obviously um, start either working out your cut and fill volumes, your propose, um, adding some other surfaces, etc. Um, you could also bring this into Revit and turn it directly into Revit topography and then start building on, on it inside of Revit. So lots of applications. Uh, for this once you've um, created the surface. Um, so I hope that's been very useful.